So this is the start of the Oonandatta track. Last episode, we drove along the famous Oonandatta track towards the centre of Australia. This episode, we finished the road trip to Uluru, where we spend a couple of days exploring. Desert swim fashion. Hell yeah! Out of the desert. <laughs> wow. Geez, I wish about filling this thing up, but uh. <laughs> Camels on it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at them looking. <laughs> Look at these ones. A road train full of camels. We're in the outback now. <laughs> so we've got the sun setting over in the distance, and we're just going to keep driving for a little bit. Um, we asked the servo to see if it's all good, and she said just keep an eye out for cows. <laughs> Uh, so we will, and then yeah, we'll pull up whenever we want to stop, I guess. And then tomorrow we should make it to Uluru, but well, we will make it to Uluru. You better morning than that, fella. Play today, Hull. We're driving to Uluru. So I think we're probably about four hours, four and a half hours from there. So it's going to follow the highway up and then turn off um, towards Uluru. And, yeah. Newest member on the trip, Lenny the Lego Man. Just found him out in the desert. Just can't leave him there, so I just zip tied him to the bull bar. He's going well. I am just going to use the air filter to clean out because it was pretty dusty roads yesterday, so. Give it a clean out. It's a good thing about these old Hiluxes. It's got a nice old blower outable air filter. Um, and then I've got to pump up the tyres. over at a rest stop to have a cup of coffee and look at the colour of our boots from the campsite last night. Bloody hell, that red dirt. That is some red boots. Sticks on everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> look like we're wearing clown shoes. You look pretty. Are you going pretty to? red boot. <laughs> Not many people would be able to say they've driven to the Northern Territory. So we're just about to cross the border. <laughs> the Northern Territory? Yeah. Here we are. Bloody hell. I know. What number of crossing is this? I don't know. A lot. There we go. So this is going to be our fashion for the next couple of days as well. So hope you guys get used to it. Wash on. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I can't go that fast. <laughs> Struggling to go 105. So over there is I forget what it's called, but it's made, it's famous because it's something that looks a lot like Uluru and it's probably full tens of thousands of tourists, including them. <laughs> but 
That is not, that is not Uluru. It looks like it and it's damn big, that's for sure, and it's a long way away, but I know for a fact that it always gets everyone. And we're still like 120 k's from Uluru, so. Yes, anyways, funny about that. What'd you do, Holly? <laughs> I screamed. What did I say? Go see it! No, you don't. <laughs> I'm gonna do a video on Outback Waves. So I'm just gonna change it up a bit because I'm sick of the... So here we go. Shaga! get out! The Hail Hydra. The Double Wave. The Mr. Enthusiastic. Be on to God. His brother! The back of the hand. Hello. The crocodile. Over <laughs> this sort of next couple of hills, I think we'll get our first proper glimpse of all the route. Yep, the real one. The real one. Not Mount Connor. <laughs> We just locked the hubs because we're going to go potentially find a camp spot for the night um, and it's pretty hectic. Get an information center now to get some information. Yep. Uh, nice. <laughs> We're racing to get sunset. We're racing. As you can see, sun setting. We have some backpackers that have got bogged down a four wheel drive track. Gone. We were airing down a pudding before we were driving this stuff. We were getting the max trucks out to help them out. So we got them out. Um, we tried the max tracks, we couldn't get them out, so we ended up having to snatch them out. Snatch them out. Um, and we're in such a rush to find trying We're like to running see. around, they must be like, these Aussies are bloody insane. Yeah. What are they doing? So now we're literally trying to find or we'll get to our camp spot and we're going to see the sunset.
made it. Um, sun's setting over there. Uluru is over here. Probably to see sunrise or sunset um, right up close because you can actually go right up to it. So we'll do that. But yeah, we were just saying, what are the chances of this? Like the only ever time we're in a rush that we have to actually snatch someone out. We didn't even have enough time to ask them for their names or anything. We were like, okay, cool, things, bye. And chucked everything back in the unit and kept going. Um, but yeah, so I think we'll just stay the night here and that'll be us. Sunset, but oh uh, well. No, it was it was very pretty. We it was pretty. pretty we cool just footage. far away. Yeah, we were a fair way away. So, anyways, hold. Oh, best we could. Now we're gonna have dinner because we are starving, and there are so many flies here still. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can. So I'm not gonna take this net off. It's honestly the best thing ever. Wonder if you can hear them. I hope you can because they are bloody insane. Really glad we spent what. Well, I had nine bucks in these head, head nets. Actually, I think they were like 14. We got the ultra. <laughs> yeah, we got the good ones with the little strappy the, bits. Look. The... This little sneaky bottle here is from Simon, my brother. It's from Recession Wines in Tumbarama. We bloody love it. Uh, this is not 2012. This is uh, quite a nice bottle of wine. So we thought, why not crack it finally? Because we've been meaning to crack it somewhere. Somewhere special. And somewhere we special. Thought... We're in the middle of Australia next to Uluru. So here we go. Cheers, Simon. Thanks, Simon. All right, our new little cooking tool, the old gas mate flamethrower. So cruise lights kind of got, got us onto this. We were, we were gonna, we were thinking about it, but they were like, yeah, we just smash our palmies with one of these. Oh my goodness. Ooh, smell that cooking. Kind of missed sunrise. Yeah, we well, saw, didn't. We saw it while we were driving. It just took us so long to get here. <laughs> it's like 45 minutes to get here. Yeah. Anyways. So we'll do sunset tonight. It was then, still pretty cool. Yeah, sunrise tomorrow at the oldest. walking over the bloody camera we're just about to do the valley of the winds walk at the olgas or katajuda yep um yeah we thought we'd come check this out over here and then do a walk here and then go see sunset back at uluru oh That's this morning we also did a guided walk around part of the base of uluru which was really interesting so. yeah good to learn about it Tails and the orange face.
down to Uluru to watch the sunset. You can see it behind me now. Um, oh, car's not parking. Oh, he's got ice cream, so he's did a pretty hectic hike. So, oh, I gotta get out of the way. So Matt's just setting up a time lapse. <laughs> What's American? Pretty cool. <laughs> It's weird seeing it in real life, see it uh, in photos and on TV so much, but yeah, yeah it's pretty crazy in real life, I don't know, it looks fake. <laughs> it does. I'm getting a beer. Oh. I am. the flies that sunset done oh. yeah that was incredible that was awesome oh. uh, yeah the way that, I mean obviously you would have seen a time lapse by now but yeah yeah it was awesome. amazing well was worth awesome. it now sunrise all this morning yeah if we drag ourselves out of bed <laughs> it was a struggle this morning so yeah, struggle this morning let alone tomorrow. tomorrow morning two days in a row but that's what we're doing now we're gonna go have dinner and shower Join us next week as we make it up for sunrise at the Olgas. Yella. Yella over there. And then head on to Kings Canyon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our merchandise. The link for this will be in the description below. We will see you next week.